Greetings, minions, survivalists, and fellow gamers. This is Silverblade Dagger playing Seven Days to Die, and this is a bonus episode, uh, basically to answer kind of a question that I got from a subscriber, uh, Henry Har Harnish, I believe is his name. I hope I didn't pronounce it wrong, buddy. Uh, we got into talking about shotguns and how they're different in various uh, video games, and in this game here, there's essentially three types of shotguns. Uh, I guess another way of putting them is scatter gun. And uh, I kind of wanted to demonstrate how this works uh, with the guns. So what I've done here is I'm I'm in a separate game that I made just for these bonus episodes. So basically I turned the cheat mode on, I made as best as I could uh, some mid-range weapons, kind of like if you were mid-game. Um, there's varying qualities because I can't get it nailed down to specific numbers, but I did the best that I could. And I basically got one of each of the firearms, plus the bow and uh, crossbow. Now what I want to demonstrate is how the guns work, actually. And to do that, I made up a bunch of awnings. Now the reason why I'm using awnings is because you can they, they don't take much to get damage. I think uh, you punch one, you know, I can demonstrate that right here. You punch it, and they have a health of five. Boom, gone. Okay, so they're cheap, they're easy. Um, I guess you could say they're sort of an analog for what a zombie body would be like. And I didn't want to incur the wrath of, of the locals <laughs> in order to do this demonstration. But I put up these four walls here, uh, partly so that you could see the spread of a shotgun, because you'll be able to see the damage on the awnings. And I'm thinking it might be a little bit too easy. But I put four up here, so you can also see for penetration, to see if it ends at one block, or if it goes from one block into another, into another, etc. And this will kind of show you, hopefully demonstrate, uh, the effectiveness of these weapons. Now, I didn't really paste this out, so let's let's do that real quick, because I didn't measure this out. So, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so I guess we could be standing right here for ten paces. Sound good? Now, mind you, this isn't exactly scientific. It's c just kind of seat in my pants, and I, I, I just wanted to do it to not only demonstrate for, for Henry, but also for others uh, how these weapons work in this game. And also kind of to see for myself, because I'm a little bit curious to see how this all goes. So the first thing we'll do is a long range test. The first weapon we're going to use is the blunderbuss. This thing is a hog. Now they say it's the most powerful uh, shotgun, handgun in the game outside of a rocket launcher of course. Um, it's slow to load. It's ugly. <laughs> and uh, well let's just shut up and, and get to it. All right, so as you can see, <laughs> it blew through that, had a nice little continuance here, and it blew out through there. So let's replace our divots. Now that's from 10 paces away. I would say that's about the safest distance for both accuracy and not getting the shit beat out of you from a zombie. That you, that you can get. And that's from back here. So now let's try it from five paces away, which is a little more perilous. Ready? Okay, same effect there. It has a little spread here, but the hell? It didn't go three blocks through. So it's kind of a, I'm thinking it's kind of a random thing. At least once you get past the first layer of blocks. And of course, as again, again, this isn't entirely scientific. Okay, so now we're going to try the sawed-off shotgun. 
Not my favorite, and apparently not the favorite of many others either. So for, let's try it from back here first. So we'll aim it off like this. All right, ready? And we'll go right there. Okay, so it goes through one, goes through the other, and then it pretty much ends its spread back here. And that's three blocks of penetration from ten paces. Alright, so now let's try this at five paces. Now you'd think it would go almost all the way through, but well, let's see. Okay, so it looks like the spread comes out to about here where it ends. And actually, let me try this. Uh, I need a mining helmet. Whoops, helps if I spell. There we go. So we can kind of see this a little better. So it doesn't look like these blocks are damaged at all. So pretty much the same effect. Um, you know, once it starts spreading out, I guess, then it, it's done. So now, my favorite shotgun, the long barrel. Now, just so you guys know, this is with standard shotgun ammunition. It's not with shotgun slugs. So we'll try it. Well, actually, I'll take that back. Let's go back with the sawed-off. And, uh... Why can't I get the reload menu for slugs? Hmm, that's odd. Okay, I can with the long barrel one. Okay, so we'll just go standard slug, or shotgun shot. Ten paces. Looks like it, about the same effect as the sawed off. out of here. Let's see, did I get the center one? Yeah. Alright, so let's go back to that with up close here. Alright, so went through that one, went through that one. Hmm, that's interesting. The closer you get, the weaker it seems to be. Because you notice from the from the 10 paces range, you know, way back yonder here, it went through three blocks. But we get up here, it only goes through two. So let's try it with the slugs. Now to show you real quick here, um, the slugs have all this resource chucked into it so they better perform damn good right and this is just you know one 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 nothing big for the regular shell so hopefully with these uh... slugs these will have full penetration so let's see how this goes right one two three huh that was kinda unexpected Let's try that again from 10 paces. And we'll aim at a different part of the target. Wow. Really a piece of crap right there. <laughs> it didn't go any more than just one block through. So, essentially speaking, when you fire a shotgun slug, Let's try this again. Yeah, it only goes through one block. And then it's spent. Whereas, try it with a regular shot. It goes through multiple blocks. And mind you, that's at the five pace range. You can even say five meters if you want to put it in a, a measurement. So that's actually pretty damn weak. Alright, so let's try it with a pistol.
pistol. And first we'll try it back here at 10 paces. Okay, it only goes through one block. That was kind of expected. So let's try it again from five paces. Again, one block. So not really a whole lot of penetration there. So let's try it with the Magnum. And we'll aim at this block right here. <laughs> Don't see any damage over there. So, yeah, it, it only goes one block deep. So let's try it at five paces. Again, only one block deep. Alright, so let's try Yon Hunting Rifle. Try it right here. Okay, so one block there. Let's do a comparison shot right here at five paces. Same thing, no big difference. Okay. Replace those. Now let's try it with a sniper rifle. We will do it at 10 paces. Okay, so just goes one deep. So at 5 paces, just goes one deep. So now that we've tried that, let's try alternate weapons. Ones that we don't often get to use. So we'll chuck these up there and pull these down. First we'll try the AK-47, which I... yeah, I've only used this like once, I think. We're going to do a quick burst, which I think might be a three-shot burst. Oh, it's a one-shot burst right there. So, as you can see, it only goes in one block. So, let's try this again at five paces. One block. Okay, so now the dreaded SMG. Wow. Now you see why people hate this gun. <laughs> no penetration, no real damage. Try it at five paces. Yeah. In order to break through, that's one shot. Yeah. It takes two shots to break through it. That tells you how piddly this gun is. I would say pointless. But, you know, that's just me. Alright, so now we have a bow. And I am using flaming arrows. I mean, it's easy to do it with bow and arrow. And actually, I probably sh ought to try with just regular arrows. But we'll try it with a flaming one to see how that does. Kind of expected that. Although I kind of expected the, <laughs> the awning to burn. Same re result. So now let's try it. Oh, I, I don't think I could do this. I, I feel dirty already. Exploding crossbow bolts. And it looks like they changed the shape of the arrow on this thing. So this ought to be interesting. Um, ten paces. Yeah, I like that result. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, five paces. Hopefully it's not too damn close. Okay. So clearly, um, the superior weapon is the crossbow bolts that explode. And as you notice, it went through two layers from five paces. Didn't harm these. So take from that what you will. 
and yes, kabaloi. Let's see if we can get all three with one shot. Oh, so close. Okay, so let's uh, let's let's do this right. Um, one, two, three, four, five. <laughs> All right, so we're going to change up the wet, the ammo, and just make it. Let's see. I should have just one stone-tipped arrow. Now, mind you, I do not have my skills up in any of these weapons. This is basic ones across the board for skill level. That's it. Uh, I read the schematics just so I can assemble and disassemble them. That is it. So, results will change if you have your skills up. So, as you can see, no major damage there. Heheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheh
Twitch. And Twitch. <laughs>